This is the Valerie H. Schindler Wildlife Rehabilitation Center at the North Carolina Zoo. The center was designed to provide veterinary care for injured and abandoned native wildlife with the ultimate goal of releasing them back into the wild. Each year, the Schindler staff treats hundreds of native animals, including three to 500 birds. But until recently, little information was available on whether the birds were surviving after being returned to the wild. Now, Hallie Buckenoff, manager of the rehab center, has launched a new project to keep track of the released birds. We release um, between 300 and 500 birds a year. Um, and that's not just the songbirds, but that also includes birds of prey. Our hope whenever you rehabilitate an animal is that it's got the same chance of survival as its wild, unaffected counterparts. They get a fish and wildlife band, which is a silver band, and it has imprinted on it a series of numbers. 00706. But since those bands are really hard to read, that's why we requested the color bands, so that we can really identify at a distance. Our hope is to better understand our rehabilitation practices and by observing them post-release and seeing if they're doing normal behaviors, how long they're surviving past release, if they're staying in the area or dispersing outside of the area of release, it might help us to understand our impact in a captive setting, in the rehabilitation setting. Thanks to the banding project, the rehab center staff has a much more reliable account of their bird reintroduction efforts. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney, connecting your life to wildlife.